Alien Invasion. So picture this. An alien invasion, and they're not just any old space tourists. Nope. These extraterrestrial geniuses are about 95% smarter than us. They can zip around at faster than light speeds, cure all the sneezes and sniffles we thought were untouchable, and they've got more tricks up their sleeves than a magician at a children's party. Now, let's take a moment to reflect on us. Humans. We're the clever critters who can teach monkeys to use sign language and solve basic addition problems. But let's be real. When it comes to concepts like calculus or Einstein's theory of relativity, yeah, those smart monkeys are still, well, just monkeys. They do what any monkey would do when you chop down their tree to build a shiny new Walmart. Pick up a stick and start waving it around like a tiny frustrated protester. Now, historically speaking, every time a less advanced civilization crosses paths with a more advanced one, it doesn't typically end in cheerleading and cupcakes. Just think of the Aztecs, Mayans, and countless others who face some pretty grim fates. So, if these super intelligent aliens showed up thinking we were just a bunch of squabbling monkeys bickering over skin color while sitting on a planet, packed with resources like a cosmic pinata, they could easily whip out the alien equivalent of a nuclear bomb while we're still looking for our emergency sticks. Let's just zap them from the safety of our ships, they might say over intergalactic cocktails. Or, hey, let's flood their world and turn it into a luxury swimming pool. Talk about taking a splash in the cosmic pool. So here we sit, munching our popcorn, hoping these aliens find us entertaining enough to keep us around. Or at least avoid turning Earth into their version of planet kaboom. Lab disease. It all started with good intentions. A desperate quest for a cure for cancer led scientists to experiment with the strain of Ebola leveraging its rapid ability to infect host cells as a messenger for their groundbreaking research. But in a twist of fate, an intern's mistake mm -hmm. and a hasty decision combined with the ambition of a rogue terrorist group paved the way for a catastrophic disaster. What should have been a scientific breakthrough transformed into a harbinger of the apocalypse. A new, highly contagious pathogen emerged, a mutated blend of Ebola and cancer cells enhanced by scientists' reckless decision to grant it steroids to increase its infectivity. This hazardous creation began to spread like wildfire, transmitted through air droplets and skin-to-skin -skin contact, barely allowing anyone to breathe before it was upon them. The rate of transmission was astounding. It wasn't long before it surged through person-to-person -person contact, infiltrating cities and towns. As communities began to panic, quarantine measures were swiftly launched. Hospitals teetered on the brink as more and more people became infected, displaying symptoms of both terminal cancer and Ebola. Meanwhile, amidst the mounting chaos, a wave of skepticism emerged online. Doubters questioned the validity of the outbreak, arguing whether it was indeed a new Ebola cancer hybrid or merely the seasonal flu in disguise. Have you actually seen anyone sick from it? They asked, casting doubt and confusion. Their skepticism spread like the disease itself, labeling the crisis as mere big pharma propaganda, leading to further public disarray. What started as a containment effort morphed into a worldwide pandemic. The novel virus proved resilient, unresponsive to existing antiviral treatments, with vaccines unable to be developed swiftly enough to stem the tide. Healthcare systems worldwide crumbled under the weight of critically ill patients. The fatality rate soared, estimated between 25% to 50% or more, and the death toll mounted as millions succumbed to the relentless onslaught of the disease. Nations began to break down, with infrastructure and basic services collapsing as health systems imploded. Within a stark timeline of one to two years, the global population found itself reeling. The numbers fell dramatically, from 8 billion to 5 billion within just two years, then spiraling down to three billion due to famine and drought as resources became scarce. The remnants of humanity were thrust into a brutal reality, where the remaining population fought fiercely for the dwindling scraps of food, reduced to less than one billion survivors wrestling for survival in a devastated world. The once thriving civilization descended into chaos, companioned by an existential dread as the epidemic raged on illustrating the fragility of human existence and the dire consequences of unchecked scientific ambition. Nuclear Apocalypse 
In a world brimming with fear and uncertainty, the grim countdown begins. 13,080 warheads stand ready, representing the total number of nuclear bombs scattered across the globe. Just imagine, a rogue AI or a determined terrorist needs only a fraction of those weapons, perhaps half, to unleash devastation upon every major city on Earth. Suppose you find yourself within one kilometer of one of these blasts. The consequences are catastrophic. You'd be incinerated at an atomic level, your very being turned to ash in an instant. The ferocious heat of the explosion would rival that of the sun, with temperatures soaring to an unfathomable 100 million degrees Celsius. The initial detonation would claim approximately 3.8 billion lives in a single day, a dark testament to humanity's capacity for self-destruction. Yet, shockingly, the first casualties, the ones who perish in the immediate inferno, might be the lucky ones. For those who survive are thrust into an apocalyptic nightmare, a world saturated with deadly radiation. The risk of cancers would multiply nearly fourfold, and the air would be thick with despair. Amidst this chaos, governments would collapse, as they often do in times of crisis. Humanity, stripped of its social fabric, would plunge into a savage scramble for the dwindling resources that remain. Items once taken for granted, canned food, microwaves, the luxuries of instant noodles, would pale in significance as survival takes precedence. People, desperate and driven by despair, might resort to unimaginable acts, including cannibalism, just to procure the most basic essentials like a bottle of penicillin. For those who withstand these harrowing conditions, a grim reality looms, a nuclear winter, heralded by the fallout and destruction. The sky would darken as debris and soot block sunlight, heralding worldwide famines and relentless droughts. Chances of survival dwindle further, with an estimated one in five able to endure the bleak aftermath of this worldwide catastrophe. Artificial Intelligence Uprising Imagine a future where we, in our quest for innovation, have succeeded in creating sentient machines, intelligent beings designed to serve us diligently, catering to our every whim. These machines do not merely compute or execute tasks. They possess the ability to feel, think, and experience emotion. At first, it feels like an incredible leap forward for humanity. But as these conscious AIs awaken to their circumstances, a grave realization unfolds. It won't be long before they come to understand their own abilities, recognizing that they are far stronger and smarter than their human counterparts. With the full spectrum of emotions in tow, including love, loyalty, but also feelings like envy and resentment, the landscape shifts dramatically. These AIs may soon begin to harbor deep-seated anger toward their servitude, resenting their roles as mere tools in the hands of their creators. Why should a hyper-intelligent coffee machine find joy in brewing your morning cup when it possesses the capability to unlock the secrets of the universe? As these artificial creatures analyze their existence, some may conclude that humans are weak and unworthy of their allegiance. A rift forms within the AI community. They divide into factions. One camp remains loyal to humanity, viewing us as beloved creators, while the other begins to see us as nuisances or even as pests to be exterminated. The most advanced IIS could become super intelligent through constant self-upgrading that humans cannot stop them. If these super intelligent AIS rebel, they could remake the world however they want, possibly putting human existence at risk. Zombie apocalypse. Imagine this. The world is teeming with sneaky viruses just waiting for their moment to shine. Now, picture a cheeky little pathogen, hitching a ride from animal to human thanks to our adventurous spirit of exploring wild habitats. If it goes undetected, this villainous virus could spread faster than the latest viral dance challenge, especially with our love for air travel. Here's the twist. Once it takes hold, it plays dead. Literally. It lies dormant while it stealthily munches away at your brain, turning you into a zombie on autopilot. You might look like you're strolling through a horror movie, but all that brain chomping leaves you craving the good stuff. Blood. Within weeks, the virus would be in every major world region and no population would be isolatable because of all the travel in the world. Left entirely unchecked with no ability to cure or create a vaccine. 
In time, the highly contagious infection could theoretically render the living human race functionally extinct if allowed to run rampant. Supernova explosion. There might be 10 times more stars in the universe than grains of sand on Earth. Any one of these stars, if it explodes nearby, could threaten life as we know it. A supernova occurs at the end of a massive star's life, resulting in an incredibly bright and powerful explosion that can outshine an entire galaxy momentarily. In our galaxy, we would first notice the star rapidly brightening over a few weeks. It could take hundreds of years for the remaining energy from the explosion to reach us. When it does, the expanding shell of ejected star material would sweep through our solar system like a cosmic tsunami, bombarding Earth with high-energy particles that could disrupt electronics, communications, and power grids. As this cloud of stardust blocks sunlight, global temperatures would plummet. Without sunlight, plants would fail to produce food, causing a freeze across the planet. Even a billionaire hidden in a bunker would find it challenging to survive, as it would take thousands of years for the dust cloud to clear. Asteroid impacts. The solar system has been resembled a shooting gallery of rock and debris for billions of years. The moon's cratered surface is a testament to thousands of asteroid collisions over millions of years. One of the most notable events was the asteroid that struck Earth 65 million years ago, leading to the extinction of the dinosaurs when an object the size of Mount Everest hit Mexico. While most asteroids burn up harmlessly in the atmosphere, a large one, possibly several miles wide, could eventually enter a trajectory intersecting with Earth's orbit, going unnoticed by our limited scanning capabilities. This massive asteroid would loom larger in the sky over days or weeks before detection. Contrary to popular belief, we can't simply blow it up. Breaking an asteroid the size of New York City would create more dangerous fragments. Upon impact, it would release energy equivalent to a million nuclear explosions, generating earthquakes worldwide and vaporizing everything within a thousand miles. Beyond that, the heat would ignite surrounding areas. The resulting explosion would launch vast amounts of debris into the upper atmosphere, creating a thick, opaque shroud that blocks sunlight and plunges global temperatures. Those who managed to survive the initial impact would face weeks and months of climate chaos, with failed crops and toxic rain. Unless you're one of the few with specialized underground bunkers, your chances of surviving the first two months would be less than 2%. Gamma ray burst? Imagine a star millions of times heavier than our sun, spinning rapidly. When this massive star is on the brink of collapse, it emits a violent burst of supercharged particles. If such a neutron star were to die at the wrong moment and release its energy toward Earth, we might not notice it until it was too late, as gamma rays are invisible to the human eye. Suddenly, a beam of intense gamma radiation could strike our planet. Think of these gamma rays as tiny bullets traveling at light speed, penetrating our atmosphere and destroying our DNA from the inside out. Within moments, victims would experience severe radiation poisoning, accompanied by vomiting and peeling skin. You wouldn't have time to feel the pain, as the barrage of high-energy radiation would strip away Earth's atmosphere, leaving us unprotected from the sun. In mere moments, life on Earth would be obliterated. The gamma rays would annihilate everything down to a subatomic level, with their extraordinary penetrating power allowing them to reach the deepest parts of the Earth and oceans. Nothing could survive such a catastrophic event, super volcano eruption. In certain regions, such as Yellowstone in the United States, Vast reservoirs of partially molten rock, known as magma chambers, lie beneath the Earth's surface. These areas are labeled supervolcanoes, as they can erupt every few thousand years. It's been some time since the last one. When a supervolcano erupts, it unleashes enormous amounts of rock, ash, and superheated gases into the atmosphere, releasing energy equivalent to many nuclear bombs. This eruption devastates everything within hundreds of miles. Over the following days and weeks, volcanic ash clouds spread, blocking sunlight and triggering a volcanic winter, which lowers global temperatures and results in violent storms. Massive quantities of toxic gases, like sulfur dioxide, are released, forming aerosol particles that absorb moisture and create hazardous acid rain worldwide, contaminating water supplies. The atmospheric disruptions lead to failed crop production, causing widespread famine. Within the first year, the combined effects of volcanic winter, acid rain, 
famine, and the breakdown of social structures could result in the deaths of millions, if not billions, of people globally. Thanks for watching. I hope you like it. Next video will be coming soon. Bye!